Firetown Heritage and Cultural Center is in a lot of ways a pinnacle of this community. Based on the corners of Toby and Hammond streets in Triumph, the center is a gallery and just joint to many, while in reality, it's a whole lot more. The center was established to celebrate the memory of the vibrance of Firetown and the man who used to be an anchor of this community, Father Trevor Huddleston. This is why we carry his legacy. The Trevor Huddleston Center has picked up his social responsibility to the community over and above the Christian part of it. You know, he did things that one would fear that one day the police would arrest him. I can tell you a story of a guy, court boy, who murdered our principal at St. Cyprus. And the police were looking for him, they couldn't find him, but Trevor got him and he took him to the Newlands Police Station, which is called Sofar Town Police Station. That's how great that man was. Last Friday, the center was joined by Gauteng Premier David Makura to break this ground for their latest and biggest project, the construction of the Trevor Huddleston Cultural and Enterprise Center. So it's special for a number of reasons. Firstly, because it's the very first public building to be built in Safar Town since the removals almost 60 years ago. Um, so a place where we can all come together and understand the past, but more importantly, build the future. So that's why it's important. It's important because it's going to be a green building. So we're hoping for a five-star green rating from the Green Council of South Africa, which means basically it's one of the best, most insulated green carbon neutral buildings in the city. And it will be able to run on solar and it will really point the way in terms of environmental concerns and the opportunities, I think, for how buildings might look in the future. So two big reasons. The third reason is it's going to have a 24-7 life. So it's built to allow training during the day and in the evenings and at weekends, it will become a cultural centre. So, you know, those are, those are kind of top of our list of why we're so attached to this vision. Construction begins in two weeks' time and the building is set to be officially opened in April of 2015. For Morning Live in Sophia Town, I am Dumi Sidumeti.